Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm still doing more and more side quests before I uh, begin my trek up Death Mountain. Last time I went to the Lost Woods and learned Saria's song. So, I'm gonna go places that I haven't hit yet. Explore some new territory. Get some pieces of heart and some other stuff. So, I gotta trek all the way this way. Clear across Hyrule Field, but it's okay. I don't mind walking. I'm getting tired of rolling, though. Ugh. Rolling. Oh, well. <sighs> I guess I could explain how I first got into this game. Uh, back in January 1999, I was over at a friend's house. And uh, he had this game, Ocarina of Time. I had heard of it. I had played a little bit of Zelda games before. Like, when I was like three or four, I played a little bit of the original Legend of Zelda. And I was about eight, I played a little bit of, of Link to the Past, you know, not really knowing what I was doing. But I was, I definitely was not a Zelda fan at that time. I was aware of the series, but I was just passive towards it. And I was aware of, you know, Ocarina of Time's release, but it didn't interest me just yet. But once I went to my friend's house and I saw him play it, I was just completely blown away. It's like, whoa, that's amazing. I had never seen a game like this before. It just broke a lot of new ground and... Shut up, Owl. I know where I'm going. Switch, switch, switch. Go away. And there, finally. But yeah, I found that all I wanted to do was just watch him play. I was just mesmerized. And around that time, he was at the Fire Temple or something. But he, he, he got lost in that temple, and he just exited out and just started exploring the world. And my jaw just dropped. That was just amazing. I had to try it out for myself, so... Seems like a couple of days later, I... I was at Movie Gallery or Blockbuster or something. You know, I guess I was... I was 12 at the time. And, um... I saw it, so I rented it and played it, and I have loved this game ever since, and... I asked for it for my birthday. My birthday's in February, and I played it in January, so I got it for my 13th birthday. And this game is still, to this day, my favorite in the whole world. So, wow, it's amazing! So yeah, that's my guess, sort of a bridge version of how I got into this game, how I became a Zelda fan. Of course, after I played Ocarina of Time, well, I gotta use this chicken. I can't get into this fortress right now. This is the Gerudo Forest, not Forest Fortress. Sorry. Okay. But yeah, after playing Ocarina of Time, I went back and played the um, A Link to the Past for Super Nintendo because my brother had it, but he never finished it. Never played it much because he couldn't figure it out. So after playing Ocarina of Time and having that knowledge, I played A Link to the Past, and, surprising, I loved it! It was a great game! I got a piece of art, and jumping down here... No, I'm not doing that. Fortunately, I lost the chicken, so I gotta kinda go back and get it. But yeah, I love Zelda ever since. The original Legend of Zelda and Adventure of Link, I actually don't care that much for. It's ironic, the two original Zeldas for the NES, I find myself not caring that much for. I don't think they're bad games, they're just definitely not my favorite. Oh, I already got the bug out. So, let's plant some more bugs. Scoop. A piter should pop out. Come on. There you are. You're mine. Gotcha. Now, while I'm at Lake Hylia, this is a very good opportunity to learn a... or teach myself a song I can use later that'll really help out. It's only an optional song. You don't have to learn or... Actually, you get to make it up yourself. Uh, but it does help out later, and now's the time to learn it. First, I'm gonna cut grass and get some rupees out of it. Yeah, good enough for me. But you gotta go over here to these scarecrows. And supposedly, they'll teach you a thing or two. Leva, I am Bonuru, the scarecrow. Yeah, I don't know. I'll make up a song. Oops. That's not what I said to do. 
I'm, I'm basically just gonna play the Goron's Lullaby from Majora's Mask. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, my Y button seems to be getting stuck on my GameCube pad. I don't know why. There. Just tap it. For some reason, I'm holding this button. It's getting stuck. Hmm. That's a lot. It's never done that before. Of course, I guess my Wavebird GameCube controller is kind of showing its age. You need to talk to Pierre, the Scarecrow, then play the song for him. That's established. I have to come back later and play it again for the little trick to work. But trust me when I say it's handy dandy. It makes your life a lot easier and it makes it possible to to finish up the side quests. So if you're going for 100%, it is necessary to you know do that song. So I'm gonna take a break from all the excitement and I'm gonna go fishing. What up, guy? Will, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Arr! Yes. And I know how to fish. Okay. To get a piece of heart, I gotta catch the biggest fish in the pond. And it's right in the center. So first I gotta walk around so I can be able to reach it. Cause it should be, if memory's not there. Let go. Let go. Yeah, it should be about right there. Okay. Let's see if I can catch it. Sometimes this takes a while. Depends on if it wants to cooperate or not. Come on. Come on, come on you, I know you're the biggest fish. I guess he's not hungry. Okay. I gotta wait for him to return to his original position now. <laughs> That's the problem with this fishing minigame. The fish sometimes don't want to cooperate. Like, it's not my fault. Just take the bait. Take it. Take it. Jiggle. Jiggle. Trying to get y'all excited here. Ooh. <laughs> gotcha. Heck yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Ten pounder. That was a pretty quick catch, too. That was pretty lucky. But I'm not complaining. What do you want? Weigh my fish. Weigh my fish. Uh. Woo! Alright. Oh yeah, I can't leave the pole. Okay. We're good now. I got what I was after, and now it's time to actually head back up to um, the desert. So I can get another piece of heart, as well as another gold scatola. So here I go. But yeah, as I said before, I think I really owe my friend a huge thanks for um getting me into Zelda. <laughs> I love these games so much. The Legend of Zelda series is one of my favorite game series of all time. Shut up, Navi. As a whole, though. I guess I might say the Mario series would be my favorite, but Zelda, uh, this one is my favorite game of all time, so I don't know. There's fewer games in oh, the Mario series, and there are, there are some Zelda games I don't care for. Like I said, I don't care for the two NES Zelda games. I actually don't care for the Oracle games either for Game Boy Color. And I didn't much care for the DS Zelda games either. You know, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. They were okay, just, eh, not that great. But all the other Zelda games I love. But, to be fair, the Mario series as a whole I guess I like more. Despite the fact that this game is my favorite in the series and this is a Zelda game, it's just that there's not a single Mario, there's not a single mainstream Mario game I guess you'd say that I don't like. So that's why I guess I would say Mario, the Mario series is my favorite series, and Zelda would be number two. 
But despite all that, this game is still my favorite in the whole world. And it's going 15 years strong, and I don't see that ch I don't see that changing at all. I'm so happy if I'm making a let's play of it. You have no idea. I, I'm sitting here all giddy, just yay! I can't reach that scatola, but I'll get an item later that allows me to reach it. Come on, chicken! I need you again. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to the waterfall. Whee! There's a little hidden area over here, and I can reach it with the chicken. I don't miss it though. It's a little bitty square entrance <laughs> inside the fall. But come on, and you fall really slow, the chicken. I mean, basically Link is defying all physics right now. Amazing. Get in there. All right, got it. No, don't you run away, don't you run away. Oh, okay, he ran away. Uh, are you kidding me? Well, so much for that. Unless I can climb up here. Phew, okay, thank goodness for that. I was worried I wouldn't be able to. A random person here with a cow. Okay. Oh. want to break the box. That's a pretty, that's a game cliche. Box and crates. It's already equipped. I'm noticing a lot of video game cliches and just games in general, you know. You see a lot of boxes and crates in games, you know. Levels like sewers and of course hearts are game cliches. You know. I guess swords and guns, some kind of weapons are game cliche. No, I don't want to talk to you. I didn't say talk to you, I said jump. Stop. Shut up. There. Okay, I won't press A button. I'll just swing normally. If I press A, I'm gonna talk to her. There. I got what I came for, and now I'm ready to leave. Let's get out of here. This was taking a while, but I think that for the most part, I finished up most of the quests I need to finish. Go away, cat. Leave her alone. One, one cat picks on the other cat, so I had to squirt her. Just trying to mess with her. It's like, go away. Leave her alone. She's just sleeping in peace. Let's see, I don't... I don't know if there's anything else I can do here or not. I'm going to check something to make sure. I'll hitch a ride on this owl, so it'll be a little shortcut. I'll get a shortcut back to Hyrule Castle. So that'll be nice. No, I'm not talking to you dish yet. I'm walking over here... To make sure I've gotten everything I can get so far. Because there might be a... There might be a scut Scutella over here. There might be. If my memory serves. But what do I know? Well, it's almost nightfall. Come on. Well, well, yep, there he is. Okay. My memory was right. Okay, that should do it for now. Almost. I don't like Octo Rocks. They basically behave the same way a Deku Scrub does, except they're just in the water. I'm gonna make it daytime. Because nighttime is scary. What are you doing? You've come a long way to get up here. You should look at the map. I'm not lost. Come on, I know what I'm doing. Yes, I know about the lake. Come on, you don't have to explain it to me. I don't care. You don't have to explain this to me. Just stop. Shut up. I'm sorry, folks. You had to listen to his dialogue or read it. Come on. Oh my gosh, stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. There. Okay. And we get a pointless flight scene. I wish it would just sort of warp you, but no, you gotta 
watch this. I guess it's impressive. I don't know. Neato looking, maybe. Oh, okay. Back in the market. Okay, well that'll do it for now, so tune in next time for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time as I figure out my next move. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye!